Tonight we have a story about a controversial treatment for cancer invented by a Winnipeg doctor. It's not new. In fact, Dr. John Davidson used it on hundreds of patients decades ago. What is new is that some 50 years after the doctor's death, more than half a century after his theories were dismissed as quackery, scientists are rekindling the flame of his research. With more on the legendary cancer doctor, here's CTV's medical specialist, Avis Favreau. His name was John Ralston Davidson, a respected family doctor in Winnipeg in the early 1900s. A great scientist, as well as a great doctor. And this is Leslie Gurney Bishop, now 88, a journalist who documented Dr. Davidson's controversial treatment for cancer. He never claimed that it cured it, but he said it would arrest it. Davidson spent years studying cancer, writing medical articles on his theories, which in hindsight were remarkable for his time. The doctor described cancer as a dietary deficiency, so he added generous amounts of vitamins to the patient's diet. But he also said it was critical to boost the patient's own defenses against cancer, which is why he developed what he called young tissue extract. Davidson took fertilized hen's eggs just nine days old and produced a powdered extract, which was then injected into patients with various forms of terminal cancer. Like this boy, diagnosed with lymphatic cancer, notes show that with surgery, vitamins, and the extract, he returned to normal health. Over the years, Dr. Davidson treated hundreds of cancer patients. They all said, the ones I interviewed, all said that it had benefited them tremendously. Some said they were cured. Ruth Burke's father was one of Davidson's more famous patients. Harry Leader, the Member of Parliament for Portage La Prairie, had been diagnosed with terminal bowel cancer by the Mayo Clinic in the U.S. But under Davidson's treatment, he improved. It was controversial scientifically, but that really didn't affect Dad. He, he believed in it. But Davidson's medical colleagues thought the treatment was useless and repeatedly refused him research money. It's as though they'd been instructed by somebody, well, just uh, tear him up, you know, just tear him up. And they did. Frustrated with the lack of support, Harry Leader, with his own good health as proof, took Davidson's pleas for funding straight to Ottawa in 1944, directly to Prime Minister Mackenzie King. He never wanted any publicity from this. He simply wanted help for this man whom he felt could help humanity. The Prime Minister refused to fund Davidson's work. The doctor died four years later. He would die uh, pretty well of a broken heart, if you know what I mean, because he had not been recognized. His cancer treatment thought to have died with him. And for 49 years it was lost, until a twist of fate. Leslie Bishop's nephew, Richard Dunn, had long heard stories of Dr. Davidson's wondrous treatment. One night he saw this on television. Two Norwegian researchers have developed the first scientifically proven aphrodisiac. And the formula for this aphrodisiac, fertilized hen's eggs ground into a powder. I thought, my gosh, these people have uh, probably stumbled on young tissue extract, Dr. Davidson's uh, theory and treatment uh, inadvertently. He found the man holding the rights to this libido drug in North America, a Dr. Morton Schulman. Yes, doctor. He has severe Parkinson's and diabetes. And he has a shrewd eye for odd concoctions with possible medicinal properties. And, uh, this is 50 years ago. They were treated with the same drug, exactly the same as we had purchased from the Norwegians. Shulman read Dr. Davidson's story and enlisted respected scientists to study the possibility that a long-lost Canadian treatment for cancer might be inside his libido pills. If I have a cure for cancer, or even a control for cancer, or even a control for one type of cancer, I'll be, be famous. You have to be careful about raising people's hopes falsely. Jonathan Blay is one of the researchers looking at the revived young tissue extract. Davidson's extract in many ways could be a cancer vaccine. There could be things in the extract that promote a response against the cancer. Leslie Bishop, for one, is overjoyed. Recognition appears to be dawning. I, I didn't know whether I would ever live to see it. 
Researchers hope to have results from lab tests and trials of the extract in terminal cancer patients within a year. And if there is no anti-cancer effect... Then we'll look back and we'll say, well, it's unfortunate, he was well-intentioned, but uh, there was nothing there. But if Dr. Davidson's extract does show the power to combat cancer... This could be not only one of the great human victories in overcoming disease, but it could also be one of the great human tragedies. A tragedy because for the last 50 years, a possible cancer treatment and its pioneer were forgotten. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto. Health Canada has approved the use of the tissue extract on compassionate grounds for cancer patients until results of the study, soon to be underway, are complete.